Well, Zoo, what are you what are you doing here? I'm just hanging out. Someone told me to show up. Okay, I think we're live on the internet right now. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello, internet. I'm uh I have uh good to good, oh. good to see you. No, you go first. You I have all my stuff. I got my Coke and Malort. I got my pickles. Your Coke and Malort? <laughs> yes. Now, Zoo, uh, the it's last time gross. the last time we saw each other was at CES in Las Vegas, Nevada, mind you. What were I we doing? I remember some of that. We, well, we, we went to... Well, Go ahead. Oh, no, you... Well... My pleasure, my power, my pain! There it is. You can see the love in Bill's eyes. Yeah, that was uh, Dollar <laughs> Bill. We were singing uh, Kiss from a Rose by Seal at a barcade there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I, I think, think that was that was while we were giving marriage advice to a young couple. Yeah, I really <laughs> yeah. hope they worked out, but I haven't seen him on her Instagram feed lately. Ooh. Wait, you guys so, actually you followed uh, that Retro Fun Tech? I called it. I, I That relationship was not going to last. We tried. We tried so hard. We went to bat for that guy, but that you know, he needed to lock it down. That's all I told him. You got to lock have. it down. There was another. I don't know if you wanted him to though. That's, no, uh, you don't. That seemed like a mess. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, <laughs> and for those viewers who haven't seen us before, these shenanigans is just part of the norm. Oh yeah, I'm Stubbs. This is Retro Handhelds. This is our podcast. Zoo from Zoo Reviews is our guest tonight, and you might know him from our YouTube channel that you're on right now. We have Aish, who's still a Hasbro stan, apparently. Yeah, and I just Rob, realized that. I need to change Rob, that real quick. Rob, the Retro Tech Dad. We hope you liked our April Fool's joke Hi, last week. We are, we're not taking over by Fisher Price. <laughs> um, but Zoo and I still need to follow up on our land that we purchased while we were at CES. Uh, because here you can see us, Squatter's of rights. course. Squatter's rights. And I just wanted to highlight this clip of another friendship moment. So here's Zoo and I at CES on the showroom floor. And we found a square that no one claimed, and it was ours. So, funny thing, that video cuts off right when I find something on the floor that was a little bit adult-themed. And my theory was <laughs> there was a booth there. Mm -hmm. And they got kicked out because they yeah. may have misrepresented themselves. They broke the rules, and so oh, they, they had. They to were get too hot for the main floor. They they have to be in the second, after party. Yeah, for after out party. Second point of order. I'm pretty sure that my fly was down in that video. <laughs> I was. Now, based on the rules, timeline of the, the rest of that day? afternoon, was that the same day. Yeah, I guess. It Wait was. a minute. Yeah. That's Wait where you minute. you exposed yourself to Brian Bosworth. Where's his beard? You, zoo, you're oh. so clean. Most of it went down to turlet and the rest went down to sink. To the moon mm. they go. We've new Steam Deck sizings now, by the way. Ooh. So that's right. Well, they're not on sale yet. Never mind about that. Michael Benny, hello, live chat. Hello. Good evening. Uh, those listening at home later on, we hope you're enjoying this episode. Uh, we're going to get a little bit loosey goosey. We have a limited amount of news we're going to cover. So really, it's going to be about Zoo. We're sorry, oh. but not really. And Games of the Month. We're going to talk sorry. about handhelds and devices we're using right now and talk about some ridiculous Crypto Bro handheld $500, $35.66. I can't wait to get into that. Turtle uh, 3. Michael Benny brings up a good point. That's right, Zoo. That, uh, Zoo puts out more videos faster than anybody else in the team. That is absolutely correct. He is like lightning. I get all all up in my head about it. it takes me forever. Mm -hmm. uh, Aishi, Aishi and I are basically tied right now. Uh, but Zoo, <laughs> he's on a roll, and we can't be stopped. No matter how my much my wife thinks I should be on medication, but I don't take it, and that enables me to only sleep four hours a night and just keep grinding Incredible. on videos. More, more, and more handheld videos. That's can't stop, what, won't stop. Uh -uh. We can't we can't do it? So, <laughs> um. All right, you know what? Let's 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 just dive into this this new stuff. Big this week. Oh my gosh! So Apple opened the floodgates and said, "All right, emulator people, go ahead, submit your apps, and we're going to 
allow emulation apps to be on the app store. But big caveat here, this is huge and everyone's hyping and freaking out about it, but it's not going to have just in time so JIT uh, as an option, which a lot of emulators need to run efficiently. Uh, and also there, we're not sure if you can load your own ROMs and if that's the case, then this whole thing is dead in the water, and we're not sure why this is even an option. You know, unless they own the licenses to the games, then they can include it as a DLC or something like that. But I don't know. What do you guys think about this whole fiasco? I don't think they're going to block you from being able to use your own uh, files because plenty of apps in the app store already let you do that. You can yeah. just because you open it up doesn't mean you don't have access to your files. It is kind of annoying because their file structure is very limited. Yeah. That's one of the things uh, when I did that video, which was technically a G8 video, but a lot of it was the iPad, like emulating an iPad. Just being able to add stuff to the iPad itself and put it in folders and then locating them is kind of a pain, but it's you're still able to do it even with, uh, with the alt store. So I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to do it if it's an officially supported app that Apple already said, yeah, this is safe to be on our platform if they actually make it past that screening process. And what are you using would... in your beard right now? Sorry. Oh yeah. It's like Oh, <laughs> nothing. I just I just kind of let it do its thing. Thank Perfect. you. But sorry, Zoo. Well, I was I was going to say probably like like tea tea tree oil. I, I was going to Every now and then some some yeah. uh, jojoba oil, jojoba oil. I don't know how you want to say it. I was I well, hey, I don't got no dog in this fight cuz I don't I have was, any app stuff. I thought it was jojoba. It, Jojo Ba. B, <laughs> I was excited until I read that PPS says PPPPPS PPPP statement about the, the ROMs. Yeah, let's look now at I'm that. Nervous. Now I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the dev of, of PPS SPP here on his website said, I wonder if he ever says his own app name 10 times fast. That's a PPS SPP. Uh, he says that uh, while everyone's getting excited about this and we assume that retro games include anything that's you know 20 years old psp is 20 years old now so we're thinking that they can be included uh but we don't own the rights to psp games we can't offer them as in-app downloads users must mm -hmm. still obtain the games on their own by dumping umds which is a pain so for pps's pp to be useful beyond running a small set of free homebrew games it all depends on how apple interprets their own rules See, I, I agree with what uh, Retro Funtex said. I'm cautiously optimistic about this. I, I, I hope mean, so. I, I, well, I mean, I am really excited about it. I mean, if, if this is really going to lead to emulators being available on the App Store, that's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a big thing. I mean, I, I definitely like Apple devices, so it'd be nice to be able mm -hmm. to start utilizing some of that hardware that's available to us. Yeah, man, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, it's... Can you, th can you imagine how much bigger our niche is going to grow if we bring in the whole Apple crowd. You know, they're yes. getting more into retro games now. I mean, that's just a huge, potentially untapped population. I'm not saying for sure that all Apple users are not doing some other sort of emulation, but I have to imagine we're going to bring in like millions more. Uh, well, I think a lot, I think a lot of us in this stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of us use Android because of how easy it is to get access to emulators. But I think if it's as easy on the app store with with an Apple device, I think we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more people coming into the space and being mm -hmm. a lot more interested in just doing development and seeing emulation on their devices. So it'll be be interesting to see what happens yep. with it. Yeah, I mean, just think about how many iPhone users there are. It's and yeah. most of those people very yeah. young, and Is most like people have an iPhone. Share? Do they have? I think they're like fifty percent. I think so. Something. Yeah, they were. They yeah. were. They were way up. That's there. a lot of people. And Michael Benny pointed out they did allow RetroArch to download content without needing to pay a cut to Apple. Uh, that is huge for Homebrew. Mm -hmm. So that's good to know, too. And, and the Yabish and Shiro dev here uh, also said, hey, I've just submitted my app. Let's see how this goes. So, yeah, I, I definitely keep my eye on his Twitter for sure, because I really I'm curious to see if it gets approved, because I will mm -hmm. be one of the first people to download that. Yeah, I'm yeah. super excited. Yeah. Uh, and those know, uh, right? both uh, Yawa Sanshiro, or at least the course on RetroArch and uh, PPS is PP don't need a uh, JIT. So there wasn't really an issue playing those games other than the emulator had some compatibility issues, which I'm sure if we get like the official support to be taken care of, the only mm -hmm. ones that will, won't be really available is going to be Dolphin and um, Dreamcast right now because both of those do, do need that. So Dreamcast... For me personally, it's not a huge loss because there's not that many Dreamcast games I really care about. But 
um, eh, I mean, that's just being honest. Like the Dreamcast, it, it was a lot of potential, some good games in there, but the library isn't as great as some other systems. You're sleeping Dolphin on egg. Though. I can't believe oh. that you're not talking about your love for Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> always, that always goes unspoken. But Dolphin does suck though, because there's plenty of power to be able to actually run Dolphin games upscaled. And for me, what got me excited is that, like most iPads, the aspect ratio is kind of like almost four by three. So the games look really, really good on those screens without having to worry about like widescreen patches or any of that. Because that's the only one I'm kind of bummed about. Everything else looks awesome. It should run yeah. without really any issues. Yeah, I think that, um, th I mean, this is obviously huge. I mean, I, Sujano and a, a bunch of creators were just like, oh my God, Bob Wolf. Like this is, this is the biggest thing that we've seen in Apple gaming news in a long time. Yep. Uh, I just want to see the real world results. I want to see what Yaba can do. Um, yeah, well, it's funny. It's like I, I just dro I dropped a video about Ryujinx on the Mac with the M3, you know, like oh, there you go. Ago. And then this news came out. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome just to be able to do like emulation with that M1 chip and an iPad Pro or something like that. That would be amazing just to see what well, the potential even the A12 yeah. chips can really like I was uh I think it was ETA Prime a few years ago, did a video with an A12 iPad and he was doing um, F0 GX, I think upscaled like two or three X with no issues. And that's yeah, ooh, those that chips are powerhouses. Yeah. I mean, they they yep. really are very powerful. So yep. it will be interesting if it does happen and developers can actually dial in and start supporting those specific yeah. uh, chipsets, which will be really cool to see. Yep. And you I'm can also get those interested. Cheap. I'm interested Sorry, in the lower end stuff. Imagine imagine playing Apple II games on your iPad. <laughs> think about it. Going full circle. Just think about it. <laughs> think about it. Yeah. Think about that. Ace, are you thinking? I'm, I'm definitely it? thinking. Okay. No, but what I was saying though is you can get like the iPad 10 and iPad 9 for pretty cheap now. I see it on Amazon refurbished all the time. Mm -hmm. That's going to have that great screen aspect ratio. It's going to be a really nice looking screen, not like an IPS or OLED, but still. And it's going to have those powerful chips. So that's really going to open things up to be able to to get all these games running to more people. Yeah, the, the barrier of uh, entry for Apple devices is a lot lower than it used to be. I mean, I think yeah. you can get like a like an iPhone SE third generation, which has like an A15 in it. And it's like 150 mm -hmm. bucks. So, I mean, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of appeal with, uh, with what we can do with emulation on Apple devices. I think mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Yep. And I mean, iPhones traditionally have pretty nice, beefy processors, especially in the last few years. And so I'd like to see now some true comparisons between, you know, the latest iPhone chips versus Snapdragons. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure those benchmarks are out there, but not for emulation, I bet you. That's so, the thing. Now we can start getting into that kind we of can, comparison. Now we can start well, no, having that's fun. That's the problem, though. Uh, no JIT. So the high end emulators probably won't be working. God, H, that's not legit. That's unfortunately that's that's the the reality of it. Though. So there was a way to get it before for older, I um Apple products before uh, iOS 17 came out. But ever since iOS 17, the way to be able to access JIT isn't available anymore. So if you do get one with an older version of Apple, you might be able to have access to it. But most people, there it's not going to be there unless Apple decides. Yeah, we're going to open this up for everybody. Right. Yeah, I know. And so we'll have to see. And and yep. some emulators like PPSSPP don't rely as much on JIT. Mm -hmm. And as far as uh, that dev's interpretation, JIT might be possible, but it's just unlikely. Yep. So nothing's ruled out. We just don't know enough yet to really yeah. say anything for sure yet. So uh, we're going to keep following this. It's an interesting topic. I have an iPhone, but not a personal one. It's just for work. And so I, I need to get some apple device to start messing around with this if the emulators well i know you say that i just i don't use tablets really besides maybe some telescopic gaming but you know i have a freaking flip phone dude i can look now i have a tablet yeah, now, I, it's a tablet. I, I now it's a I wasn't phone. a big tablet user until huh? i got an ipad that's the thing though i, mean, That's, I don't that. like I don't like Apple devices other than iPads. That's the only thing I've ever used from them that I've actually enjoyed. And I, and I got one for myself, phone, yeah. Android PCs, windows, and it's always going to be that way. But for some reason, just the, the tablets are just better with Apple. Yeah. I mean, I know they're nice. I know they're nice. And so once I see confirmed, you can load ROMs, yeah. you can load your, le load your legally backed up games. 
to the, your iPad, load it up in PPS's PP or whatever, and it actually works, then it's like, okay, game on. Obviously, I need to mm -hmm. explore these devices more. So we'll report back, everybody. We'll report back. Uh, do you want to talk about... It. Let's put a pin in that one. Do you guys want to talk about this new emulator called Lemonade? It is a 3DS emulator. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, because Citra. Yeah, Citra oh, right. was like Citra yeah. was like Citra. They're squeezing it. They're the squeezing citrus. It. Yeah, I get it. The citrus fruit has been squeezed, and now we have we've turned <laughs> lemons into Orange. lemonade. And lemonade is a new 3DS emulator that's taking the base of Citra, making modifications. And there's not a lot to say yet. They have two alphas out, so you can get it in the link in our sources in our description. But Rob is the only one of us, I believe, who's actually tested this. Rob, what was your experience with Lemonade? I tested it on the uh, on that uh, iPlay 50 Mini, so it wasn't it didn't work great on there. But yeah. again, it's just one device, so I haven't really tested it enough to really get a feel for how it performs. But I think Ace was saying that performance should be pretty much on par with what we've mm -hmm. seen with, with Citro. So it's I, I just to have be. to I haven't tested it on enough devices to really make an opinion about okay. that right now. Yeah. Okay. So at least in Windows, it looks pretty even. So they're, I mean, they're attempting to continue development. And the nice thing here, and the reason why people are are praising it a bit is because it's now on platforms that even Citra wasn't on, like the Mac, mm -hmm. right? There's a Mac mm -hmm. version, there's a Linux version, Windows and Android builds. That is- Cautiously uh, optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with I'm you guys. Cautiously optimistic about that too. Let's see if they can continue and keep <laughs> development active on it. Yep. Michael Benny, Citra was shut down in just enough time for people to receive their INEO DS devices. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yes, that's correct. I mean, tech, um, you could yeah. still source it, you know. It wasn't, it was kind of lopped yeah. into the whole user thing, but they didn't necessarily go after it. It's just right. some of the devs were working on both, so they're like, nah, just give us that while we're at it. But yeah, it's not completely gone. Yeah, and it's, here we go it's it's alive and well it's just mm -hmm. it's going to be take a little time for it to get its legs and to become a fully baked emulator you know so mm, we're cautiously optimistic yeah. here i think fully tonight's squeezed. just a night of cautious optimism <laughs> yeah it's really going to feel that way after the next topic uh, zoo, <laughs> yeah. and by the way i forgot to mention zoo if you have any questions for our mr zoo of zoo reviews Please drop them in the live chat. We'll start. I was them. told there would be no questions. This, this. Yeah. Well, surprise. Uh, there's going to be possibly some questions. If you have any questions or concerns, actually, just kind of <laughs> drop it, and we'll we'll assault him with them as the show progresses. It'll be a little looser tonight. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. We can just do them on the spot too. Zoo, why are you okay, the way sure. you are? Um, upbringing. Um, my experiences that I've had in life and, uh, just genetics, I guess. <laughs> you know what? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with genetics. This guy Every, is making everybody, sense. Everybody has genes inside them. So 3d printed studio zoo question for you. Why no stubs nubs review? That's a good question. Zoo. Wait, I was waiting for Why the hype. No I'm waiting for the hype to go down. Nubs, nubs review zoo. It's waiting for Conflict the hype. To we were waiting for the Steam Deck version. That's that's what it was. It's out, coming out any day. I'll do one. I'll do a it's short. Like, good enough if you for pay you. Pay me four hundred dollars. I'll do a short for you. Uh, that's not really the rate that we had sort of you know negotiated. Well, but we'll... I thought we negotiated no questions. So here we are. I thought you're the finances guy. Like, do we? We need I a pay middle. Myself? No, that's embezzlement. No, that's embezzlement. Right. So. <laughs> we need a third party to kind of mediate this. If you, if anyone knows a good finance guy who's on my side more than Zoos, please let me know. So just ask Ben. Okay, yes, yeah, please ask Ben. You yeah, guys want to talk about me. some really, really weird thing that's happening? Okay, okay, all right. This is called the Ords Games bitboy one this is a 500 dollar 3566 device uh made by uh some bitboy dudes or some bitcoin dudes this will very slowly mine bitcoin it'll hold your bitcoin wallet on there and also can farm something called airdrops and i i'm a little out of the crypto scene so someone might have to fill me in 
It also comes with an NFT of the device in a digital form when you buy the handheld <laughs> that you can view on their website and it turns around three dimensionally. And it also has something called imprinting. No, that's not right. Ordinal inscribing. And it this. lets you play. Here it is on the moon. It lets you play <laughs> retro games through ROMs and emulation. And you earn something like retro achievements, but somehow that's tied to an NFT and you can, uh. you can unlock and play to win, play to earn. Uh, I like Crypto how he's currency. not holding it. Yeah, I am. I don't know I'm, what's happening in that image. It's ridiculous. it's not holding. He's not holding it. Can we blow that up, Bob? Can we enhance yeah, yeah. that? What's oh the... yeah, I, I got you guys. There you go. So we at first we were excited because we thought we thought it was a follow up to. Uh... Oh no! I, I, I agree with Crystal. At first, when I heard BitBoy, I thought it was like a follow up, sequel, actual BitBoy. Yeah, to the there, actual yeah. BitBoy by me. I was you. like, what but, is this? So what you have here, and if you if you zoom in on the device, and if we can look for some other images here, um, you can see that it's rendered exactly almost after the the r36s or the 35xx it's very very close in fact there's some rumors that this is made by the game console company who made the r36s they're kind of the ones behind the scenes i don't that hasn't been confirmed but that was the rumor on the that. street yeah i know so here is here's the bitboy one now visually it looks freaking awesome i love yeah. the transparent orange it looks attractive if this was 50 dollars or a hundred dollars even and not five hundred, you <laughs> might get the emulation enthusiasts excited. But at five hundred dollars, you're looking at Turder three territory here, like Zoo was saying. I mean the Turder two is already a bargain compared to this one. This Let's... has four four gigs of RAM, six forty by four eighty, non touch screen. It's just Look at those back buttons. You can't do this. It has 32 gigs of internal storage. All right. Totally worth $500. <laughs> it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So that's good. And it has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. And it has a single horn loudspeaker and a nice. and a shocking a shocking lack of AI. So oh. I'm going to give you three reasons why the Turter 3 is an absolute gem. One, it has shoulder buttons. <laughs> Turter that's 2 didn't true. have shoulder buttons. True. 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 Two. It's not made out of metal, so if you drop it, it's not going to hurt your foot. And three, you potentially could mine Bitcoin on there. So True. After you... 400 years, it'll pay for itself. <laughs> exactly. It'll take... I mean, even the article uh, Venture Beat there that we were referencing, they said, you know, this is a little bit shifty. We're not sure about this. And they're the crypto experts. You know, they're the ones saying... So if the crypto experts are saying this is off, if the gaming side of this, us, are saying this is off, we're thinking somewhere this might be off, but we don't no. know for sure. No, because if someone who's trying to sell me NFTs tells me not to buy something, they are they are hoarding it for themselves. Oh, right? true. We need to get it. They're trying to get me to pay floor. money for JPEGs. We need to get it. Then they're the telling me floor. not to buy this. Huh? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. That dog won't hunt, Monsignor. That's well, you saying. know, it's yeah, I I I I hear you. I hear I want to listen to you. I want to trust you. I want you to not sort of enter my room at three in the morning without your pants on again. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. No, it happened. <laughs> it's, it's anyone's guess if that happened or not. I'm pretty sure me and Russ can corroborate that one. Uh, but it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, idea. I like the idea. It's just that now let's say you want to use it to hold your cryptocurrency. Great. Uh, do you want to trust this hardware, which sometimes... I've had defective ones come through. Just today, I got a Pow Kitty V90 in the mail, and the battery was swollen right out the gate. And then the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 trap door, you know, that holds oh. the battery, whatever, won't close. I'm like, why won't it close? I looked up, I'm like, oh, this is a swollen battery from day one. Great. That's actually You're never just happened. jealous of its gains. I yeah. know. It is a Sigma battery. I was like, should I take my knife and sort of? Yeah, that's definitely what you should do. Yep. Should I release the tension, you know? But yep. I looked Please up and I Googled you're doing it. And I it said, do not do that. So I, I I put it into a pile of sand. And that is how I've handled it so it doesn't start a fire. Pow okay. Kitty. No. 
do do better. I got that on the anniversary sale. It was like 25 bucks or something. So I was like, yeah, I'll get another V90. But I'm disappointed I got it to get another freaking BL500C or whatever battery, whatever it's called. It's worth it. It's a V90. Okay, I know. You're right. You're right. Satisfying click. Yep. Satisfying. Been, uh, this is for later, but I've been using my V90 and it's it's a cool little device. Uh, I, I'm excited to use it. Mine's yeah. a little bit you know, kerfuffly right now. We'll see. People it's paid us money. Stubbs. On there. Yeah. Is that twisted metal two behind stubs? Oh, uh, yeah, that's well, actually that's twisted metal three camera. Can you move? Focus over here, camera. That's twisted metal. Okay. Twisted metal three, which had the Rob zombie soundtrack, which was freaking sweet, but not developed by the original single track dev, which makes me sad, but it's still, I still liked it. So what do you, what do you, what do you want to say? Still haven't played one of those games. Well, sorry. So Stubbs. it's okay. It's all right. So the bit boy one crypto bros, maybe you're excited about this. Let us know. It also works with something called D pen, which someone on, on Twitter explained this to me. I actually need to look this up again. D pin is oh here I got that for you. Deep in deep in D E P E N decentralized public infrastructure. This likely means that it has a Laura Wan radio, of course, for witnessing hot spots on the healing network. What just happened? This is very cool. <laughs> it will allow you to find your up. device if lost and help other people track packages. And it's stuff, so words. it's it's like a logistics thing for UPS. I, and I'm yes. sorry for every, all the crypto people I'm offending right now. Mm -hmm. I just don't know this stuff very well. It's been years since I've bought like Ethereum or anything. So, uh, I maybe this is cool. I, I I just I need to be educated. Someone educate me. Don't don't, uh, don't, don't tell them. But that. I they, they won't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm afraid somehow if I start to get into this and I don't know enough yet, I'm oh, going no. to get hacked and I'm going to end up on the <laughs> list, you know, and all my stuff's going to get taken away and they're going to, my name's going to show up everywhere on the internet. So it's like, I wish there was some it's service. <laughs> you know, I wish there was, Rob, what are you giggling about? I'm just looking at the comments. They're great. Oh, they're great. Oh, yeah. They have the best, the best freaking comments. Oh, I, I love the viewers' comments. They're great. <laughs> they well, keep me just, giggling every podcast episode. <laughs> I just, yeah. Sometimes I wish for a tool, something that could that could help us to not be hacked on things like this. It's and so, sense. you know, I think we're going to pivot to today's sponsor, Aura. I recently ran a Google search of my name, and I was kind of freaked out by what came up. Several data broker sites popped up that listed my current address, my phone number, and even my relative's information. It's pretty unsettling to see my personal information just out there for anyone to access, and it likely explains why I get so many annoying texts and calls from people wanting to buy my house. I always tell them I won't take less than $4 million, but no one has taken me up on it yet, which is weird. As a dad, it worries me even more because I got kids here. I don't want their information floating around the web any more than my own. It makes me feel exposed and vulnerable, like I have no control over my family's privacy. That's why I started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura constantly searches for and removes my personal information from these data broker jokers. So I have more control and my information isn't available to anyone with five bucks and an internet connection. Aura also includes other key privacy protections like antivirus software, VPN, and password management. So it's kind of an all-in-one digital security app that protects me and my family. The amount of spam texts and emails is already going down, and I have peace of mind knowing my personal data isn't as easy to buy and sell online as it used to be. I value my privacy, and I value yours. You can go to Aura.com slash Retro Handhelds, also linked in the description, to start your two-week free trial today. <laughs> Thanks, Zoo. I don't remember <laughs> making that. Oh, your ads are the best. I couldn't do, <laughs> do those. You think my identity was stolen? I don't remember making that. <laughs> I I don't I I mean I, I don't should know. sign I would, up for that free trial. I think I'm going to also. I don't want to get hacked by Crypto Bros or Bitboy Man or any angry people who Gary. I don't know how good he is with the internet, but oh no, 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 <laughs> he's really bad at it, and he does it at the library. 
where he gets caught, which is why he's not allowed to go out in the nighttime for the next couple months. Well, is he not using a Makes VPN sense. or what's the deal? He doesn't have he, a VPN. And I don't want to give him aura because I don't I want the government to see what he's doing. Right. They should be informed, really. So, well, well good. I'm glad that we found out about this. <laughs> use, just use just use Joey's retro handhelds information if you're afraid of your information getting taken. It's what I do. The red blade. <laughs> Really, really well, good idea. Thanks yeah, for informing us idea. about those uh, those data broker jokers. Data broker jokers. Mm. Mm. Let's move on to another handheld. The Cyped FPGA Mini. This one looks somewhat whelming. It looks so like a this handheld. Is, is a two inch screen. It's an FPGA. So if you're really loving not emulation, you want the real thing, then here you go. It's teeny tiny. It has a little two inch LCD screen, 480 by what does that say? 360. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. Here we oh, go. Look at the different colorways. We have Ooh. we have the Rastafarian option. This That's, is really uh, cool. Bobsled team. Bobsled team? <laughs> yeah, this is the Jamaican, <laughs> Jamaican bobsled team. It plays up to GBA and it's 1500 milliamp hour All battery. Right. So here we go. Now this one is running a Tang a Tang Primer chip, a Tang Primer twenty five K ah. chip. I don't know how many Tangs that does. But, Daddy, uh, you got it this. It looks interesting. Thank you. So Cyped. Now they're at first. I'm like, who are these people? is this their first thing they're making? Can we trust them? Is this going to actually come to market? And I looked into their background and they've made other devices. So Rob, I don't know if you have that link too, but there's, yeah, here we go. Here's their website and they're making some pretty cool things. So yeah, they're making something called a lychee console for a, I love that little mini laptop, seven inch laptop, uh, a lychee pocket for a, which I saw other people getting excited about recently. Yeah, and that a looks risk, a risk based device. risk based. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. So there's there's a segment here who really gets into this. Mm -hmm. um, and that Lychee Cluster 4A computer up there, that thing looks rad. I love that orange handle. Me and my buddies used to get really into risk. And it'd be like 3 in the morning. <laughs> and we'd have that's this big good. this big wall in, in like, you know, like Siberia. And yeah. And just both, both massive superpowers fighting. And then one of us would start to nod off. And the other person would start moving pieces around. Fist fight. No, every time fist, fist automatic fight. fist fight. You have to start a fight. You that and uh, Axis and Allies. You want a fist fight? Play Axis and Allies. Um, my dad, my stepdad had that game growing up, and uh, I don't think I ever won at that one. I think that one was a little above my skill grade. I love that game. Well, you know, maybe we should play. You around can play it on. Time. Yeah, you can, you can play it on these uh, laptops. I guess. Look you at should. that little laptop. I for some reason that laptop in particular gets me going that's this reminds me of uh there's like a windows laptop that looks just like this thing i know I got aliexpress yeah that's like it's like a 200 hundred dollar price point one mm -hmm. yeah little computers always make me happy just... that's cool all right so lychee is going to be coming out with a handheld and it looks you know like a pow kitty q90 it's cute i have to see the price point uh, and I want to see what we can do with it. So up to GBA. All right. Let's see. And how much is that lychee pocket for a see it's pre-order. That's the one I'm, I'm looking at right now. It actually looks decent. It's an Android handheld. Uh-huh. Uh I don't know what's happening here. This looks like you have to. Oh, no. Coupons. Information. <laughs> do you got to load in cryptocurrency? Is this Taobao? This is why you um, need Aura to protect you before you make this oh, purchase. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would right. use that. Or a so the the board Amazon. alone on Amazon is 150, hmm. and it looks like they're all using the same processor and everything. TH okay. 1520, RSCV, uh, yeah, I can't really 2.0 gigahertz and supports between four to 16 gigs of RAM. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Well, interesting. We'll see. Cores? I mean, at least they make other products. At least they're. Yeah. Somewhat of a real company. I mean, it looks like all their stuff is for pre order right now, though. So I don't think they've actually shipped anything just yet, but <laughs> I don't know. This one seems kind of 
pointless and i hate to say it for something that's that's new that they're trying to get into but for fpgas that can only do up to like game boy advance i feel like the whole point of them is that you can put your own games on them or a card or something like that it just kind of changes the experience Mm -hmm. but if you can't load physical games on it you might as well just grab i don't know like a v90 or something for 40 bucks and you're gonna get pretty similar experience like software emulation is more than good enough for games like that well (laughs) <laughs> yeah in pay I mean, this, pay this is the, actually uh, an aliexpress so they have something for sale on there at least they do mm-hmm. 375 bucks which is seems a lot for at this. least hey the computer works as intended that's always a, a good start so yeah i wonder if you can put linux on the handheld like the switch looking one because if your operating systems davian android and open wrt i'm not really sure about that one green protagonist brings up an excellent point you guys talking about your info being stolen. How many Chinese made devices do you get in the mail and immediately connect to your home Wi Fi? More than I'd like to admit. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I have bad news. I have really bad news. I'm pretty sure your Wi Fi router is also made in China. Yeah. So, True. Can you load Aura into your router? Can you front load it into your. I don't, I'm going to have to sign up and see. Okay. I know you run it on Android and iPhone. And the PC no, much. through a web and browser. The P- and the PC, but can you load it directly onto the router? I will try my very best. Okay. All right. Report back. Let's let's get it at the source. And yes, it's true. All these devices are made in China. Now, just because it's made in China, it would not I would not ever say, you know, don't trust based on that. Mm-hmm. But if it's a company you don't know, what are they doing if they have access at a deep root level? to your data that you're inputting good question i legitimately good question i i I need to think on that and have a have a sit and think. change your passwords frequently don't use the same one 2fa everything like if uh, besides all that the reality is like if you don't do all that stuff even if you're not signing into a bunch of devices and all that chances are your info leaked somewhere so just be careful with that and try to protect yourself as much as possible the 2fa thing and having things connected to your phone is probably the best way to go because even if somebody does have somehow get your password and your your username or email, they you still have to two FA them in. So you're still protected that way. Just you know, be safe and get Aura. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll we'll have to explore this. Um, Pride Tunes. Thanks for the two dollars. I'm not sure what absolute garbage is in reference to. It couldn't uh, have been the Turner Three. That's what, <laughs> no, that's what I think it was. it was. Well, thank you, thank you, Pride Tunes <laughs> and Super Googly. Oh, how much uh, is that in America bucks? Super Googly. Wait, I kind of want that Super handheld now. Google. Now I'm gonna get these names more accurate tonight. I'm gonna say these very slowly. <laughs> Super Googly. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Do you guys think a four-three aspect ratio OLED handheld will and should come out eventually? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and it already has in the form of. Dun, dun. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Uh oh. Well, gonna, I mean, uh... you know, the this thing, which I'll be making a video on shortly. The Duo. It looks Microsoft really cool. Duo is uh, the only thing I don't like with it. It's tough to get out, but it's nice to have a. You know, form fitted controller and it's super high quality. I need to explore more about it. Uh, it was There's on the retro device info everyone to see. Oh my god, apparently, this <laughs> why is there surface and duo oh, is in blurry? It's, it's pretty blurry, mode. I think. Oh no, what's going on there? What's I'm borrowing, doing? I'm borrowing this from um, a Discord member, Wisho. And uh, oops, also, I think it's oh, because it's, it's pretty, blurry. anyways, <laughs> shows it again. <laughs> I don't think there's any identifiers on there. This is a, there's no even operating system on this yet, but, uh, okay. You need I to sign up for Aura right now, Stubbs. Right now. How well, is it's not his. Did you it's make this his. happen, Zoo? Did you hack into this today? No. Power off. I was going to do, I was going to do a whole spiel on this, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk more about what this is, where you can get it very shortly. But that, the surf, Microsoft Surface Duo, is my favorite four three aspect ratio OLED, but I wish we could get an all in one that's pre made that way. And Rob, I think you were going to show off yours because you're a you're a duo a duo man yourself with your Nacon. 
MGX oh, yeah. I controller. I still love this option. I think this is Dude, I, perfect, you know. I, and if you put a skin on it, if you really want to match it up, but I mean, you're good. this is probably the cheapest way to do it where it's the most cohesive, honestly, compared to that sugar cube, which I think, how much did you say it was? 350 just for the uh, controller? 300 yeah, for the sugar cube, three hundred and fifty dollars right. for it, and then you got to pay another right now, anyways, about three hundred to three hundred fifty for a duo yeah. Gen yeah. One. And there's another controller that I'm going to try with it that I'm really excited. I just got this one in the mail, and this is called a D8, which I know we've seen this around the scene. Got this from the AliExpress sale. It's like twenty bucks or oh, something. Hey. Look at that colorway, yeah. though, isn't it? Wait, I thought you got a different color. I didn't realize you got the start the fake. Oh wait, Starfield did I get the one. same one as you? Yeah, this is you the, get the same uh, one. What officially oh, licensed great. Starfield version? <laughs> great minds. Oh, that's Ooh. that's what's supposed to be the Starfield. This is, yeah, Looks this is surprisingly. Great. I actually love. I actually like this thing a lot. Yeah, I'm, for the I'm, price, it's surprisingly yeah. good. What Man, I don't know. Good. You guys decent freaking, actually. It's not okay. too bad. LEDs. Cookie or or rubber? Rubber. Rubber. Oh, okay, nice. And. The face buttons are actually decent rubber membrane, but the D8 is another telescopic controller that I'm excited to try out. I, I just oh wait, those those aren't very switched, happy. are they? No, here's the thing. Oh, oh nice. They're, they're is not, that no, they're they're, oh. they're unique. They're unique ones that I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. They're they're nice. Yeah, those yeah, look I, like the sticks on the One X Fly. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're decent. Um, you know, it's not it's not going to be your game sir g8 quality you know it's it, it's cheaper but if mm -hmm. for what I it is i like the ri i like the ribbed backing on the l2 and r2 so we'll, i'll have to talk about this more yeah just showed but up today have you gotten the, the the big boy one where it fits like what are you doing <laughs> what is that <laughs> at the ps portal at home yeah it's great <laughs> Okay, what is that called? I gotta pick this that is, up. This is the D9, so it's the same D9. Company. D9. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna st I'm gonna stay in the lookout. For the these D9. are pretty awesome. Like, I mean, I've got all my telescopic controllers right now here, but beside me, another yeah. good option, GameSir X2S, pretty solid. I, I picked up IPEG as latest as well recently. And this beauty is my absolute favorite. Oh yeah, with that three printed back, which I've done for H as well. But this thing is mm. awesome. This thing is great. Yeah, I, I love telescopic mm -hmm. controllers. They're so much fun to mess around with. Same. Yeah, I um, we'll have another segment. We'll talk about mm -hmm. this more. But right now, we I'll need to know. To that question though. Oh, sorry. oh yeah. Did we, did no, we yeah. move on from that. Okay. You go we... first. No, you. No, I was just gonna say, going back to the question that I was asking, like, are we gonna get it in four by three OLED handheld? As much as I would love to get a four by three OLED handheld, I think the problem is sourcing the screens. Because most of these handhelds made are made from screens that are already kind of made for something else. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any of these companies is going to go ahead and get a custom made 4x3 OLED screen just for a device like that. So chances are we won't see an OLED one, but we might see a bigger aspect ratio 4x3 device in the near future, which I, I mean, at least hopefully we do. Four or five inches so, would too. be really cool. But yeah, I, I don't think we're going to see the OLED one happen anytime soon, unless it's a small device. Like if they can source a small three and a half inch uh, OLED screen, that might work. But I don't know how excited I personally would be for something like that. I think if Retroid could make like the next iteration of the RP2S Plus, but Plus is spelled out or mm -hmm. something weird like that and snap an OLED in there and then give it like the RP4 Pro processor. That's probably end game for some people. It's gonna be so that'd be really good. cool because they, they 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 have been keeping that four by three device like kind of on the back end as like their offshoot device. It'd be cool for them to continue that with something a little bit bigger. Because for their main stuff, I don't think they're ever gonna get away from sixteen by nine. That's kind of seems to be their thing. But yeah, I I from them if they did that, if they did like a four inch four by three device with the analog triggers and all of that, that would be awesome. That would be, yeah. I, I love 4.3 gaming and 4.3 OLED is just mm, perfect. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, everybody, we need to talk about Ugreen's NAS. Uh oh. Yeah, soon, but not today. But soon. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited for this. We're going to figure out how to get all of the ROMs legally backed up to this NAS. Zoo, you want to talk about game of the month? I guess. All, All right. right. What do we, you got a, we got a graphic. <laughs> so Am I supposed aggressive. to sit here like a... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's... Wow. <laughs> pull it up there. 
I already beat uh, Way of the Samurai, which was pretty cool. It's like uh, like Grand Theft Auto, but in Japan, and you have a sword, which which I like. I just there's there's very nuanced ways of doing it. I just went around just stabbing anyone that looked at me cockeyed, and I got apparently <laughs> the best Love ending. It. So you do Love what you got to do. You have um, to do what you got to do. Working backwards, I guess you got Oot. Everyone likes Oot. Uh, I'm playing Ship of Harnikin. Is that how you say it? Sure. Harkinian. Sure. Harkinian? I don't care. Yep. It's not it's what, what, some, some Greek <laughs> sailor. Anyway, uh, I like it. It's Legend of Zelda. Everyone knows what Legend of Zelda is. It's the N64 one where, where mm -hmm. it gets dark and then skeletons come and try to get you. I like Link to the mm -hmm. Past better, but that, that's me. But Oot's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and then we got we got Live Alive. Live alive. Live 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 a live. Live a live. Live alive. Live live live. Live alive. Live alive. Live live alive. Live live. A live. Live from Stubbs' basement. A live. Live olive. Anyway, it's uh it's like Octopath Traveler, but from like the nineties. It's pretty cool. Uh I have beaten the caveman times and I beat the uh uh was the the western one which was pretty cool and then uh i mean I'm, I'm in the there's like a modern day one i haven't really messed around with it too much but but i beat way of the samurai i'm well on my way into ocarina of time and then live a live live alive live 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 i'll get there they're all good games which is your That's favorite it. of these three this month oh right now probably ocarina of time Best I, yeah, and I want to play that one, but I realistically am going to be beating Way of the Samurai this month. So, you know well, what you can do is just just make yourself play all three. I mean, that's what you do every month. Somehow, I have no idea how you do it. I have no idea how the you only play Scam of the Month. That you uh, somehow play all of these games. There's Rob just taking a little. <laughs> Uh, I like this view. This, Look at this. is a cool view. What's yeah. happening here? I don't know. It's a I'm custom wearing, one I made. Oh, head. That's awesome. You're wearing Aish as a hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always knew this day would come. <laughs> okay. Well, I, first, uh, I'm a little upset that you called Kin Harkinian a Greek sa sailor. He's a king. Why did he have a ship? Yeah. He's a king. Why, he's, he's a why king. Why would he not have a ship? He's from the animated series. Most people have no idea who that is, but that's that's where that yeah. name comes from. Was I think Zoo was cosplaying as him at uh, at Lenovo's <laughs> booth <laughs> there. Track. I don't remember that either. Yeah. Oh, tell me. Oh, you. I am the chosen one. Bring him to I'm me. The, I'm King Harkinian. You King look Harkinian. like a character from the Squidbillies. I don't know if anybody who's seen that I show. Think he's one of the sewer people from the Demolition Man. Demolition Man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stubbs, you gotta play Ocarina of Time, man. I know. I okay, fine. I will. Okay, I will. You haven't, you haven't played that game. Listen, every month, every month, I try to build my confidence with the shortest game, and then I see where I can go from there. Okay. And I no, no, because then you become complacent. You're gonna be like, "Well, I already beat one of them." You want so me to tackle the longest fine. Ocarina of Time? I've almost beat Ocarina of Time before, long ago. And by almost, I mean I think I was fifty percent through. Use a guide, you'll fly right through it, okay. and you're gonna have a great time. Do I play the 3DS version? Do I play no, you the play Ship of Harkinian? Ship of Harkinian, okay. Yeah, because in that one, you can have free camera control, you can have more input I... options, it's gonna look better, it's gonna run at 60 FPS. You're not gonna have do to I... deal with a dual screen setup and all that. Do I get to wear this outfit or you can you wear could. whatever you want to? All right, don't threaten me with Is a good Lenovo time. sending some yeah. to zoo? Are they no, they no. Oh, no, that's, that's disappointing. <laughs> uh, Zoo, uh, question <laughs> for you: How do you get your videos out so fast? I have the same question. Um, and you play game of the month. Aish knows the answer, and he can answer it in the form of a rap <laughs> involving <laughs> percentages. Um, it's ten percent skill. <laughs> no, I'm. Um, no, I'm not gonna do okay. this alone. This is this oh. we do this oh, together. Hold on. Are you looking up the lyrics? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually still. Anyway, the, the punchline is it's it's concentrated power of will. That's how I yeah. do it. Listen, this is ten percent luck. There it is. Twenty percent skill. Stop looking up the lyrics. 
fifteen percent concentrated power, power of will, will five percent pleasure, fifty percent pain, and a hundred percent reason to remember that name. Yeah, Zoo. Zoo reviews. Zoo. We Zoo always reviews. do this together. Well, I'm mixing it up. Pretty okay, legit stuff, fine. though. Neo Spartan, why do you choose to abuse your mod powers? Spite. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's. This is why yeah. I'm worried about when I do my interview with, with, with Aiden with the knife. Yeah. People think there's layers. There's, there's. It's all very simple. Why are you doing this, Zoo? Spite. Yeah. Always. There is no. Why, why did this happen? I, I had too many uh, discount beers at the barcade. And separately, there's, what there's nothing you, layered. And separately, what gives you the right? It depends on what the right is. We have certain mm -hmm. inalienable rights that right. are endowed upon us by our creator. Um, right. Other rights are guaranteed and enshrined by our laws and our sacred trusts. Um, Scarlet. I guess it would it would really d just depend on the right. Can I? Is, is there a follow up to that? No. Uh, here's a follow up. Crystal Zoo, are you ever breaking out your carpentry skills again? Oh, almost certainly. That was a great I'm not video. up on Malort. No. Oh. Well, I'm let's reading see. the chat now. No, I, I I'm gonna I gotta make a new uh, I'm gonna make actual board with the joysticks because I kinda ran out of time, so I just put a, a Bluetooth and a, a USB dongle. Um so I, I I did the cheap out way, the, the fake out, but I'm gonna do a real beep 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 beep, you know how they have arcades with the stick. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. uh then maybe uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at, at some old uh, maybe abandoned like Chuck E. Cheese's and see if they have a broken down old arcade box and I can refurbish it. How about that? Huh? Oh, that'd be that'd be great. Be Is Chuck nice. E. Cheese still around? Oh yeah, they got a really good salad bar buffet. It's one of the few salad bar buffets around anymore. Man, I you remember when? Well, I don't know. Do you guys have Cars Junior or Rallies out there? Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Rallies. They used to have. Do you guys remember they used to have a, a salad bar? That was awesome. Do you guys remember yeah, when I used to have bar. a? Do you guys remember when I used to have a fifty-inch TV, and it was so <laughs> nice? It was a LG HDR four K. It was so beautiful. Uh, I was trying to hang it on the wall the other day. This is a tangent. I'm sorry, and I, I was unsuccessful. And I put it against the wall by itself without it stand for one moment, just a quick little second. And I turned around, and it fell down and cracked and shattered. And my wife said, "What's this? What's that? What's happening?" And I said, oh, no. it looks like I have to go to Best Buy, get a new sweet TV. Damn it. And um, got an 80 inch one now. No, she, she <laughs> has logic, which is great. And uh, she reminded me that we have an extra TV. It's a little 42 inch. Uh, no, 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 no. A little LED regular <laughs> in the garage. And I Now that's in my room and uh, it's a lot smaller and a lot sadder because of it. But. Uh, you know, saving money is important, and invest in crypto, I guess now, and get yourself that uh, that bit bit boy. So, so it's confidence. You can't be bringing that small thing into your room. True, yeah, because the size of a man's TV. Anyways, it's so the size of let's, a man. yeah, yeah. So let's talk about now, guys. Here's the real question of the night. Oh wait, do we have another one for Zoo? Okay, Zoo, how many people did you get to buy that shirt from Macy's? <laughs> Honestly, I think two that I know of. Well, at least Michaela, we know for sure. Yeah, and yeah, stuff, didn't you buy one? I, in, in the end, did not because I decided that was your thing and I didn't mm -hmm. want to copy Doppy you. Um, but I, I wanted to have a uniform at CES. Oh, a team uniform? Well, there's still time. I think they still have ones. It's just when you add, it's just when you add shipping on, it was it, then it's it's a lot more than thirteen dollars. We, we should just print a T-shirt with Zoo wearing that shirt on and just wear Deal. that. Yes. Deal. <laughs> yes. Deal. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, that was a good, strange question segment. Do you guys want to talk about what handheld or device are you using right now? Starting with huh. Zoo, you're our guest. Well, I'm using the five five six. Hmm. I'm not using this one though. Nice. I got this from from Go Game Geek, and I'm going to do a video on it. I'm trying to think of a topic, but mm -hmm. I'm going to give wait wait in frame, idiot. I don't have Gary here to help. Um, I got to think of a topic. How, and how then I'm is gonna... he? How's He's he fine. doing? You're you're let you're wait a minute. I'm trying to get something across Sorry. here, Stubbs. I'm going to give this away. <gasps> 
but I got to figure out a topic for the video and then like a, I don't know, a like goal or a comment goal. I don't know. So Maybe I'll wait for members who people knows know, people know we're trying to hit a hundred K this year. So, uh, I suppose something to do with that, right? Push towards yeah. that goal and say, if yeah. you subscribe, you enter into the chance to win this RG five, five, six and blue from zoo from zoo to you. I was going to do uh, a switch showcase, but, um, <laughs> I guess ever since the whole thing and now we can't do that anymore. So I also have, um, I have bands GKD pixel. Oh, band the man, uh, G GKD pixel green XOXO what? Gary. Gary got this ready to ship, but he never shipped it because he doesn't follow through with things. You know, Matt Davis was promising us that he'd ask about Gary tonight. Oh, I want to answer Red Kool Aid's uh, question. Oh, yeah. Red Kool Aid. Zoo, if <laughs> I were a, if, if we're a hot if would, dog, yeah. if we're a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I would 100%. I'd smother myself in brown mustard and relish. I'd be so delicious. Not even a second thought. Yep. Like that yeah. Simpsons episode with the donuts. That does sound good. I haven't had a good donut in like a year. So, yep. Should have had some poonchkis. We got I, someone in the chat. Their mm -hmm. name is Poonchki. How do you like that? Oh. Well. <laughs> what else Thanks you guys got? Thanks for sharing. Uh, Rob. 5.56 five, as well. You got nice. the 5.56. Five, you guys are yeah all five five sixing out right now i like i like the blue well, i love the blue the blue is the awesome blue. i love the, I love this plastic man it's great so what are you playing on there lately uh i've been doing some switch stuff so yeah you guys are both um, naughty boys uh-huh oh yeah for sure a couple of game Lots boys of switch. what about what what other what else what other device are you messing around with i've been well, I've, I've got that video that i dropped with the tablet today so i'm kind of covering all the telescopic options and nice. whatnot so i've been doing a lot of that just tablet gaming in general honestly and yeah i that, saw that, you about it yeah I, thought, I saw you listed the macbook air too in your oh yeah my macbook yeah i've been i've been kind of messing around with that too it's that new See, m3 yeah seeing what the m3 can do i've been messing around with windows games i did a switch mm -hmm. emulation video i'm probably going to check out some other stuff uh maybe even load linux on there just I, <laughs> that was kind of interesting so yeah, yeah lots of lots of lots of fun stuff yeah it's it's just fun to explore oh, new tech you know that's what it's space. all about for me. i like that yeah. uh good these are these are solid options nothing i can't yell about anything yet it, Aish, maybe you'll upset me um my steam deck right here that's oh. the, this is my most that's ah, blurry but this is my most used device period I, if i can play it on the steam deck i play it on the steam deck mm. unless it's a switch game which i've actually been playing on the switch it's uh kind of been going back to that one because i'm planning on some stuff with it with linux and android so you're doing persona I, right now right i just i finished persona 3 f uh fez and the answer and uh, I was looking for a short game to play, and then I started playing uh, Near Automata, which was probably not a good idea because that's really not a short game. I've been watching, but I'm gonna have to finish that. I've been watching anime thanks to you recently. You've been, oh. you and Russ have been talking so much about anime. And I'm like, all right, Dude, I'm gonna... Russ made me so happy because he's like, oh, I should be telling you this. I started watching Dragon Ball Kai, and I was like, yeah. And then randomly, <laughs> he's like, episode 54 and 55 were awesome. I was like, yes, they are. You need to keep watching this. So that made me really happy. I, I want to honor you guys and do Dragon Ball, but I've been looking at uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Ooh. Oh, have you have you seen that before? Oh, no. Full Metal's great. No, uh, you will you will probably how cry. How far are you in? That's what I was going to say. How Just far are you? There's an episode where you will okay, cry. Okay, okay, yeah. Just see the original, not the Brotherhood or yeah, whatever. Watch oh. the original. Watch so, the original. Yeah, really? You, I was. You will cry. I I like, like, I've seen a little cry. bit of Brotherhood once, but I'm starting. You could you could honestly go either way because Brotherhood is kind of a retelling. But okay. I feel like there's more in Brotherhood, unless I'm I'm getting them mixed up again. Either way, you can't really go wrong report, with it. It's, it's a really good one, yeah. I'll report back. I'll report back on it. Um, yeah. And sorry to interrupt Wait, you. Wait, I look like who? <laughs> you look like. Uh, well, I know you look, look like the guy from Andor. What's his name? Dave Grohl. Oh, Dave Grohl. Um, that's right. I'm not putting the name well, to the face. But anyway, yeah, I've been messing around with the Switch because I'm going to put Linux and Android on it, and I want to see how that goes. Um, and other than that, the V90. 
for some reason, I just after all this clamshell talked, I was like, I'm gonna go back to to the original like retro handheld clamshell that we all love with the V90. I put uh, Miyu Custom Firmware on it, and it's been pretty fun. It's it's nice to kind of go back to one of those older handhelds and see how far we've come. And Pride Tunes, absolutely, man. And also Pride Tunes, wondering why you guys are teasing him with your five five sixes. How dare you? <laughs> well, you know, enter yourself into that giveaway that Zoo's going to be ho hosting and get yourself a 556 and give uh, me a topic because i can't think of right. anything all right now i'm gonna retry this name um walk waka uh, waka renai sensei thank you for the sensei. donation zoo i have a me mini sensei. a pocket three plus an odin two and a three five xxh the question comes from my wife when does it end? <laughs> never. Yeah, yeah. Never. Hey, thanks. <laughs> it's only going to get thanks worse. Thanks for asking that. That's a, that's a really good question. I appreciate you asking. It, it ends when you die and uh, <laughs> you pass on into the next life. And if you buy too much, your death might be caused by the person that asked that question. Depends you on your financial situation and your relationship. Yeah, threats are always welcome, of course, in this hobby. It helps to keep the loved ones off your back. If they come near you, sort of like Smeagol with, with the ring, just, ah, you know, stay away from mm -hmm. me. Danger. Don't come near my collection. Um, that's kind of how to, like a feral cat is how I would mm -hmm. suggest you react. Someone sort mm -hmm. of tries to stop you from getting mm -hmm. your prejudices. You get really uh, busily upset. Because you, yeah. you buy one and you're like, wow, this can play almost everything. And then you realize... Just because it can doesn't mean it should. So then you get another one that plays 16 by 9 a little bit better. And then you have that one. You're like, well, I can play this one, but what about a bigger screen? So you get the bigger screen and you're like, well, what about a smaller screen? Well, now I need something that does 16 by 9. Well, now I need a Windows handheld. And it just kind of goes that way. And, and then you start getting console specific. So you get like the RG yeah. Arc and, and yeah. NES, NES ones. That we... <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. And then you get a bunch of verticals because none of them play Game Boy the right way. What? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if we're if we're going to be a hundred percent honest, I feel like we put a we could have stopped with the Steam Deck. Yeah, all of us could have stopped with the Steam Deck. How yeah. was that? Two years ago, three years ago, we could have been happy. Yes. Could have been. It's, then this it's, thing came it's, out. It's, it's an illness now at this point. If we have this the, or a Steam Deck, we're pretty set. Like yeah, and it is in the DSM six, of course. The what you call gear acquisition syndrome, right? Gas. Well, it, well, it's it's five now. It might be six. It mm. might be in six. Okay. Yeah. They're trying to work it out the language. Maybe for seven, we can get an actual retro handhelds niche. Maybe we can get like a sponsorship from the DSM or something, you know, that'd be pretty sweet. The American Psychiatric cool. Association. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Different. Nobody advertises in the DSM these days. So we could bring awareness for a lot of different issues. We really, really could. Um, it is a problem. My, I have my shelf of things that I need to talk about and do videos on is ever growing and it's sort of almost looking like it's ready to attack me. So I, that's why I do it. like I'll, <laughs> videos I'll a week. Soon. I'm scared yeah. of my shelf. I know you gotta yep. keep, gotta keep on top of that shelf. So good. Ace, good choices. Steam deck switch. Excellent. B90. Now, Don't forget the B90. Can't forget the V90. Won't never forget, forget the V90. I won't ever forget it. Mm -hmm. uh, now for mine, I've actually been really loving the RGB30 from Power Kitty. This particular model came from that same anniversary sale, and I have to report a second QA issue. Unfortunately, this one has shipped with three dead pixels. I'm sorry, three stuck <laughs> pixels. Stubborn pixels. Three stubborn pixels that are in the right in the middle of the display it drives me crazy and so i'm looking at i have a yellow one as well can i swap the screens can i go buy a screen or do i get used to it or do i massage the pixels until they get buffed out because apparently on reddit anyways they say that's a possibility that you apparently can unstuck those pixels so we'll see uh, but I, I love this this green colorway this mint green here and it's beautiful it's beautiful, and I've really been coming around to this device. <laughs> Aiden, I was on Aiden's uh, podcast this week, and which, oh yeah, check out Aiden's show uh, at Aiden Walls if you want to see that episode. I've been with him twice now, and uh, we had a lot of fun chit-chatting about this and why Retro Dodo hates us. Um, and yep, 
the other thing. Oh, it's easy. Stubbs, you make me feel so good about the devices I fought for in our top tw uh, top handhelds yeah. of 2023. Well, I'm coming this around. This is the second one. This is the I'm second coming one. Coming around. It takes yeah. me longer to find yeah. to sort of formulate my final thoughts on something. You guys like went after me for the Mew Mini and the RGB 30, and look at I you. love the RGB 30. You know I what? I love the RGB 30. You know what? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I told you so. This is your I told you so moment. No, just this is my I feel in. So. No, just no. It in. This walk, is not an I told you so. It. This is okay. this is an I'm so happy you share my appreciation for this device system. This is where 4chan and Reddit are going to lose their mind because I would like the uh the 30 if Ambernick made it. Yeah. Because the quality control and weirdly enough, the the community supported firmware it shipped with, mine erased my card when I tried to update it. I would rather have like mm -hmm. trash Ambernick stock <laughs> and not lose all my stuff <laughs> hey, trying to do a random Wi-Fi update. Yeah. You know what? Their their stock firmware is actually getting a lot better. Have it you guys played around better, yeah. a lot with the 2024, yeah. the 35XX 2024? Like yeah. their stock's That's actually the not bad. 35XXR refresh. Yeah, that one. And also, if you have that, you can pop that into the plus and it works right away. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Sorry, Stubbs. They didn't mean to derail what you were saying. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah. Anyways, check that that podcast with Aiden was pretty was pretty fun. Uh, and no, I don't think Dodo hates us. They just called us out on on uh, what was it? The Unicorn A One. We discovered that the link is a pre order for a drop shipper, and it's uh, it's upcharged. So wait, we found out from the original ZPG folks. Just wait for that. That's going to ship at the end of the month, and it's going to be at a lower price point. We assume. So don't buy it upcharged. Uh, I would agree with that. We were going to talk about it today, but I I said no. Nah, it's it's let's talk about it when the actual order page is up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they might not hate us, but you know who hates them? Who? Shem. Oh yeah, Shem. <laughs> Shem called <laughs> out their uh, called Love out their Shem. stuff. It's like, why are you guys dunking on other creators? You know, like it's it's just it was it was silly i hate that i had to spend part of my friday debating with uh with all that on twitter twitter can be kind of a it's the new facebook it's some days drama drama gets the clicks you know they yeah, had that whole the, article about the, the, uh, i gotta say though the rh facebook uh group page is pretty chill fun. so mm -hmm. yeah if you happen to use facebook chill. join the facebook group because uh yep. strangely really chill really facebook. cool vibe there mm -hmm. for the most part at least <laughs> also yeah, you, my age it's it just means thing. we're doing something right. Yeah, I, I try to let us roll with my shoulders. I'm like, all right, yep. big guy going after little guy. I guess we're not so little anymore, and that's why it's a problem. But, uh, well, that's how it kind of goes. Uh, you know, the other part of that is uh, they paired it with this article about how the algorithm, Google's algorithm and AI is killing their business and all this. And anyways, I expand on that in, in the Aiden podcast. We had a really good discussion about content creators and how... The business works and how you know check it out so that's my that's my shill for for aiden's youtube channel my other device i want to talk to you about this one i've really been enjoying lately oh, yes. and this is my device that i use for everything i prep the podcast on here let me turn off my damn boca get it right here I know blur. that beautiful logo. I know what that device is. <laughs> this is a Microsoft <laughs> Surface, and it has a little residue from the RH sticker I had on it. But uh, this is a Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2. There's a third gen of this now. This is a sage green one. And this little guy has been my companion for a couple years now. 12.4 inch. My ideal laptop, the ideal size for me for on the go for just using in bed, for using on the couch, for prepping the podcast. And lately, I've been playing a crap ton of Bellatro and Slay the Spire on here. Yes. Yes. Slay the Spire. So much. Slay so the Spire. Much. And I'm, I'm on this so whole happy. card game kick. And so you think I'd be <laughs> playing on my to me. Steam Deck. <laughs> and I was playing on my Steam Deck <laughs> and my handhelds. And I'm now, since card games are so much more theme suited for a mouse and, and touch screen that I've been using uh, my laptop. And so, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a thing. And so Bellatro got me going. I like it. I'm not very good at it, but it is the gameplay loop is very satisfying and very kind of addictive. 
uh, and you just try to unlock decks and try to move your way along. So we have an article on our website if you want to read more about Bellatro and uh, related stuff. And you can find that at RetroHandhelds.gg, where now we have daily articles and things you might like. A green protagonist. I think TechTweeb had an excellent video recently. I think three devices is excellent number, but it may take a while to find your ideal three. Absolutely, I agree. You only need three mm-hmm. devices, a big, a little, and an Android. You know, a, a big Windows x86 one, probably a mid-range Android, nice. and a pocketable one. So yeah, let me see that, Rob. Bag, you, you get an RP4 oh. Pro or a 5.56 uh, and an RGB. Oh. Let's show it some Slate Aspire. I've been hooked on it. Mm-hmm. I've been playing it's, it a lot on, on the tablet. It's great it's for like, a tablet because the touchscreen, your interaction with the cards and everything, it's it's really mm-hmm. a nice experience, especially if you have like a larger screen on it. It's great. Mm-hmm. It's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, I, I've also been hooked on the card games lately. It all started with Bellatro, and now now I've been now kind of going back to the down the rabbit Aspire, hole. Like, no, I've we, played we Slate Aspire to... before too, but I'm like, oh man, this is this is just it's such a, a great game. game. It's a slippery slope. Next thing you know, I'm be playing oh, yeah. Hearthstone again, and then you're not going to see me. Yeah, you're going to have to really watch your per diem in Vegas next year if you're going to start yeah. playing card games. I, we yeah. don't need two Joey's. We don't need two Joey's. <laughs> no. Well, because of Bellatra, I've been learning how to play. To $200. Oh, it's you get a tournament one? Well, I, I'm learning how to play real poker now because of Bellatra. So Bad idea. Don't go down that, that, that path, Stubbs. I've never had any sort of uh, attraction to gambling with my money. Only yep. investing it in retro handhelds, Ash. Strictly as speaking an investment. Of, speaking of three, which my three. financial advisor says, make sure you get into handhelds. Make sure. You yep, invest. definitely. X eighty six. Three is a really good idea because even I have I have a hoard, I have a yeah. dragon's hoard of crap. I never sell a single <laughs> thing, not one <laughs> yeah. thing I've ever sold, and I give some away, but I've never sold anything. Um, I have my little tiny one. I have my five five six, and then I have like a Steam Deck or my uh, One X Player Two Pro for uh, for big big boy. You know, I, I want to play a, a, a Switch game that sure. I own. It's on my shelf behind me, but I want to play it like you know three X and sixty FPS. So I think even if you have fifty handhelds, you're going to gravitate towards three at any given time because because you have these different you know little baby mama bear and then daddy bear. You have all these different <laughs> needs. Mm-hmm. So completely agree. TechTweave has a point. I think and that so. Triforce commenter guy has a point too. So I think these are yeah, good people making sense. They're making, you know, that's all that's 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 all right. Yeah. Uh, Zoo, do you have as we wrap up here, do you have any final kind of words of wisdom? Anything you would like to impart on your adoring fans? Because you have a lot of adoring fans now, the Zoo and Gary Spicy Pickle Party team. I don't have any wisdom. Do we have any other questions? Well, um, no, I would he, he try to get some yeah. zesty, uh, zesty zingers. These are pretty good. If you can make yourself like Malort, you can order at a bar and people will be like, oh, don't mess with that guy. He just drank that rat poison. Um, I don't know. Uh, remember, to, remember to always get a haircut every, every couple months and, and, I've been uh, cutting my if own. If you're hair doing lately. a handshake, ooh, if you're doing a handshake, three firm pumps and then let go. Not, not, don't break the other person's hand, and don't, but don't, you know, just uh, three good, firm pumps. That's uh, Stubbs' advice in another area, but three firm pumps with your hand, and then that, that's how you do the handshake. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy VI character. Hmm. What's your favorite Final Fantasy VI character? I guess maybe uh, Edgar, because he figured out a way to make a castle go underneath the sand. Yeah. Tara's, Tara's good. I like Tara. Locke, he's like Han Solo, kind of. I have a last Indiana question Jones. for you. Okay. You know, as as producer Gary gets older, have you thought about what to do uh, in the geriatric years? Uh, that's up for Catholic Social Services. <laughs> you think he's going to keep I, coming around, or I have I have no legal. I, I don't have a power of attorney. There's no paperwork tying us together. When he when he starts to get worse than he already is. Just gonna, you know, send them off to the appropriate social services, and they will take care of it. That's responsible. That's nice. Sometimes I know people let their loved ones sort of wander out into the woods. No, no, no. That's nice. That's humane. 
That's nice. Okay. Well, this has been good, everybody. Uh, this has been Zoo of Zoo Reviews. He's been our guest. It, the show, you know, always has a little bit of a different vibe when we have Yawn. You're our friend. You're drinking that pickle juice. Uh, and never forget that we own this land in Vegas and we will come claim it. Look at that Pretty camera solid. work. <laughs> solid such camera good, work right there. Such good camera work. Well, everybody... Thank you again for watching all of our shenanigans. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your weekly dose of handheld news. A special thanks to our guest, Sue of the Reviews. Check them out at our very YouTube channel. And thanks to our channel members, patrons, and subs for making this show possible. We couldn't do any of this without you. Perks with us start for as little as $3 a month. Don't forget to check out our other videos. Check out Rob's videos, Asia's videos, Zoo's videos, even my videos, I guess. Uh, I'll have a new one here very shortly. Like, mm. Thanks for being patient with me. Zoo releases much faster than I do. Uh, join us on our Discord to play chat. And are we running it again? Very good. Check out my mini PC video. Check out your... Oh, yeah. That's the other yeah. thing. Is Aish has a new channel, a sub-channel called uh, Aish Talks Tech. Yep. And it's you can find it easily uh, on our homepage and our YouTube channel and it links mm -hmm. to his uh, that used to be our community channel we converted so yep. uh, Ace is taking it over he's doing mini PCs modern tech monitors all that good stuff so stay yep. in the lookout for all Ace's side hustle and uh, the first video out the gate awesome uh, thank you be beautiful Minus Form 780 I want that thing so you know what uh, it's, it's really it's, cool it's, it's pretty cool uh, but join us, chat, hang out, play some video games, play some games of the month, and join us next week where we are going to have Stand By, Stand By. <laughs> We're going to have Mikhailov from Team Ooh, Retro. Nice. Nice. And that. Ban is going to be back. So that'll be fun. April 22nd, Clef and Ban. So Game Tech Talk is going to be on. April 29th, we're going to have Tech Dweeb on the show. Uh, and then May 13th, Cozy Crystal, or, or Crystal Cozily Plays Games, uh, a new a new YouTuber on the scene, and first time being on our show. So Crystal, looking forward to having you on. And then May 20th, we have Steam Deck HQ. Uh, Noah from Steam Deck HQ is going to be visiting us, and we're going to be chatting all about uh, content creation and Steam Deck and good stuff. And May 27th, I'll be freaking camping, so there will be no show. Unless someone here wants to you think. It. Well, feel free your to dad use stuff, technology. Actually. I've already reached out to him. Something's going to go down that day. We don't know if it's a Something. show or if you would call or a hostage a situation. <laughs> yeah. Me and Rob are going to try to install uh, custom firmware. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess... No, we're going to try to hack that. into uh, to Stubbs' the computer. Boy. No, we're going to... We're gonna, Hack use the, the use. Boy. We're gonna use the BitBoy though. We're gonna use yeah. it to hack. <laughs> well, stay stay tuned for that. Uh, I, everyone got all their exasperations out. Everyone good here. You know. Gary is real. Don't question it. He's in fine. We health. won't. He he is. Well, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. It's been Stubbs. Take care of the handhelds. Take care of each other. Take care of Zoo. Take care of Gary. Good night. Good night, Hi, everyone. Everybody.